Hi, I'm Canopy Meg Lauman. My real name is Dr. Meg Lauman, Professor of Biology and Environmental Studies at New College of Florida, and I'm one of these lucky people that actually climbs trees for a living. For about 30 years, I've used ropes and hot air balloons and construction cranes and all sorts of crazy gadgets in my very non-conventional briefcase to cart out into the rainforest of the world to study insect-plant interactions. What in the heck are they, you're probably thinking. But in short, I study insects eating plants, which is a really important relationship that leads to the development of medicines in rainforest canopies, that leads to outbreaks in our gardens, and actually costs people billions of dollars in terms of crop pests and other kinds of activities. So most of my life has been spent dangling from a rope, recording data, and publishing papers as an ecologist who is very interested in the health of the world's forests, and in particular, how insects impact that health. Uh, maybe we can have a little bit of a chance to tour some of these methods and have some fun seeing how scientists work in rainforest canopies, because it is considered the eighth continent of the world, or a new frontier for exploration. And lots of the methods are totally fun, a little bit scary, uh, but for the most part are providing us with important answers to keep our planet healthy. Uh, let's go find our canopy ecologist, Meg Lauman, who I think is walking around here somewhere. I guess I always thought I would be a scientist. I grew up in upstate New York where I had a lot of wildflowers on the side of the road when we drove places and birds nests to rescue out of bushes at the end of the nesting season and so I always had a curiosity. I also had a mentor when I was in high school, a very good summer science teacher, which made me feel that it was a worthwhile career because he helped to direct me and my questioning, I think, into uh, an ability to ask scientific questions and use some rigor in the kinds of observations that I made. So the importance of a good teacher is not to be underestimated. I'm about 120 feet now, and we're on our way to the top to make some really great discoveries this week. So today, Romero, we're going to harvest a three-month-old tank. Do you like my bromeliad? Yes. It's not nice. real, is it? What do yes. you think about that? Mm, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's the best we can do, and for conservation reason, reasons, uh, it's really important that we don't harvest the real bromeliad, but we set up these artificial tanks. Mm -hmm. This allows us, as scientists, of course, to repeat this experiment in different places, yes. such as between the temperate and the tropical rainforest. We've also repeated it around this canopy. Have you seen any of these anywhere else in the forest today? Yes, I see uh, two for in the trees. Right, we have yes. them in the understory and down on the forest floor. So if you'd like to help me yeah. by holding the sieve, what I'm going to do is pour off the excess water. You're going to be collecting the insects and things in your sieve. And then when I get about halfway done, I'm going to pour the rest into this vial. So if you bring that sieve over here, we'll first of all turn that over and uh, oh, we can show the audience a few little mosquito larvae are kind of moving around there. See those? Yes. And uh, those yes. have developed in the ecosystem and uh, probably will turn into mosquitoes very, very soon. So we're going to take them back to the lab, count them as part of our experiment, and uh, also pour off all of these other goodies. Looks a little bit like dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have in here, of course, some tadpoles, some other mosquito la uh, larvae, and uh, probably lots of algae, because you do get a lot of plants forming in water when it hits light at these warm temperatures. So that's our homework for tonight, okay? We'll be okay. checking this out under the microscope and adding it to our database to compare uh, the changes over time.
Um, speaking of bromelia tanks, I have a little treasure to show you. This, this is one of my uh, most favorite Whoa. treats from the canopy. It's a new species of beetle. And of course, I study beetles Blue. because they eat plants. And this eats the bromeliad exclusively. <laughs> it's got very tough jaws, obviously. And uh, it can um, function up here in the canopy and nowhere else. Part of the reason that we're trying to be so careful about setting up canopy research in an ecological fashion with scientific thinking is that we can hope to arrive at good techniques that will enable us to make good measurements in an area where there are lots of insects and come up with ways to solve this problem. My guess is that there are probably several hundred thousand insects in an acre, if not upwards into the millions, because we've never even yet started to look at soil insects very extensively. So we've got a long ways to go, but I think the numbers will be pretty high. I don't think about herbivory very often. so. When I was looking at old and new leaves, I always think about their carbon uptake because I work on carbon dynamics a lot. But working with Meg and with the kids who are doing herbivory has made me think in a different way about some of those aspects of what I do. We have surveys of leaf miners and skeletonizers and leaf chewers, which is great data. Uh, we also have some 30 species of canopy trees that we've sampled. We are seeing through these sets of young eyes the fact that uh, different kinds of herbivory might link the green and brown food web. A lot of decomposition is starting on the green leaves themselves before it hits the ground. It's been a really exciting day in the green food web and our team of Argonauts has done a fabulous job of trying to measure different components of the green food web. We've looked at insect damage to leaves, we've looked at different types of rainforest leaves and young leaves and old leaves and now we're starting to see parts of the green food web that fall to the brown food web. This is a Bositz chair and it's a really wonderful luxurious right device that we use to sample vertically up and down in the canopy. First. Okay, I'll and get then in. We'll leave your safety line on till the last minute. Thank you. That's a good thought. Great. You're on belay. Am All I right. on belay? Thanks. You so now you can have your final one. Good ease. Have fun. Okay. Watch thanks the a first lot. step. Great. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> See you later everybody. Bye. Work hard. Good trip.